assembling a clock comes in two pieces. One box is going to have the clock in it, like that. The other box is going to have your in-touch piece. Check this out. So the first thing you're going to do is assemble the in-touch piece with the clock. Once you've taken out the components for the in-touch piece, there are three basic components. This is the computer board that's going to get screwed on here. And then there's the in-touch piece, which is going to go on the top. And then here are the screws and the washer to, uh, to screw, screw it all in. Okay, here I've, I've screwed the computer board in using the uh, two screws that came with it. This piece, <clears throat> just make sure you have the two lines going towards the outside. And it goes, uh, it goes into this, here I'm snapping it in. Okay, that's, that's where that goes. Touch ID piece. There's a little plastic thing here, you just pop it out. And then this, this slides in just like that. And after you sl slid it in, you have to uh, take a look at the holes and make sure that they line up correctly onto the computer board that we just, we just uh, screwed on. Okay, so here it's fully assembled. Here's the touch ID. I pop this into this area here and the computer board is put into this thing right there. And so now you're ready to connect an ethernet cable to it and begin to configure it. So here I'm taking an ethernet cable. Uh, this is where it goes in. It goes into this second port right here. And once you do that, the clock has power and it'll power up it'll take about six seven minutes for it to power up to the point where you can begin configuration okay here we are a few minutes later it's booted up the first thing that comes up is what language are we going to make the clock uh, of course it's going to be english united states you press that once and it'll come up and it's now time to start the configuration, which is documented. And once it's been assembled, then the next step is to take the mount for the clock, which is the back of it. Um, it's got two little slots in the back that go over the screws, which is used to tighten the clock, the back of the clock in. Once you got the, the back of the clock, in there, then you just take the screws that are on, on both sides and screw it tightly. And then there's another component, uh, which is the screw uh, for the back of it that goes on the, the top right here. Let's screw that in. Once the clock is all boxed up, I put the location of where it's going for the mailroom, how many boxes, what the device ID number is, and who it's going to. This is information for the, uh, the mailroom.